on me Promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fan that's What is happening, Danger Squad? It's your boy, and guess who we are here with today? That's right, the Cape Coral Cobra. And we're going to do a little bit of a double banger for him because, you know, his appetite has been kicking up. If you guys can see him there in the corner. He looks like he's in the process of going through a shed. So, we'll, you know, first shed with us. No, oh, second. We'll see how he does. Right, I'm just going to toss this in there. I'm not even going to get him all excited about anything. We're just going to see if he sees it and hunts it out. All right, guys. So far, he's just sitting there. Guess we got to wait for that scent to get in there. Oh, he's moving a little bit. Make him actually look for the stuff. There he is, he's coming up. Alright, guys. Cranky, he's getting ornery. Watch out, guys, he's about to. Oh, he can't find the spicy morsel, guys. Oh, my goodness. What is that about? He he legitimately came out looking for it, but since he's tucked away here, uh, let's get this thing. Look, see, look, you got a spicy one, buddy. Here you go, right where you see it. Uh oh, you see that tongue going, guys? About to get real. Beforehand, guys, this is a documentary video of feeding habits and effects of venom on various reptiles and amphibians. Man, usually he just goes right at it. All right, get it. I was going to have him hunt, but... Like I said, he is in shed, so let's treat him like he is in shed because it might be a little harder for him to find stuff. Boom, there it goes, guys. Let's get a little zoomy zoom. Spicy little thing there. He's enjoying it. He's also about due for some water. How about we give him some water while we're doing this video? Give him a little bit of this pure life. Boom, maximum effort, guys. Give the Western Dime back and we'll top his off. Yeah, buddy. Well, 
I thought this little fella was going to be a little more hungry. I mean, he's eating, but you guys remember the last video? I mean, he, he hawked on that thing. He was like, yo, it's going down. All right, guys, as he works that down, we're going to go over to the baby Masasaga rattlesnakes and we're going to feed them a couple little morsels as well. And then we will come back and offer the Cape Coral Cobra another little spicy nugget and see what goes on. All right, guys, be right back. All right, guys, here's a uh, Cupid. This guy is beautiful. Let's see if he's hungry. Dang, guys, right to the back of the dome. Look at her beautiful colors. My goodness. Let's see if we can squeeze in here. Look at that heart. On the center, or yeah, right in the center of the uh, head. Gorgeous. That's why I call it Cupid. Look how he's laying so flat. Doesn't even look right to me. Tell you what, these little baby Masasagas don't lay them out like uh, mommy and daddy do. Alright guys, we're going to let this one do its thing. We're going to go over to the other one. Be right back. Alright guys, we are back with this little cutie right here, and we're going to offer him a spicy little thing here too. Oh, look, he's running. He's running, son. Oh, man, you got some dookie up in this mother. Here we go. We got your spicy little thing here for you. Check him out, but he is in stance, guys. I'm, I'm making him a little nervous, apparently. See, so you guys can see how he's up and ready to strike if he has to. Remember, these guys, they don't want to, they don't want to bite nobody. Boom. They only strike for two reasons, guys. Self-defense and to eat. So this little guy here, he's ready for a, a clean out, big time. You start keeping these guys in a rack and you know, you forget to check them every so often. Looky here, my, my man is out of water too. 
Jeez. You guys are thirsty today. Give him some water. We're going to go back over to the Cape Coral Cobra to offer it another morsel. All right, guys. Let's get that light off of there so it don't bother him. And we'll be right back. All right, guys. So the Cape Coral, uh, he, he or she ate. Whenever got a little sip of water. Come on, perk up for us, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know you feel like a bad boy. Bad boy girl. Don't matter. Don't matter what you are. You're a bad little, little danger noodle, guys. All right, we're going to toss this over, see what happens. Boom. Now, that's the action we're talking about. He went right at that. Now, guys, it really is hard to see the effects of venom on the pinkies because they act so different. I mean, nonetheless, it does the same thing, but they don't really have a whole lot of motor, motor functions as it is. So he is holding on. Now I wonder if any of you guys ever had one of these. Does that change as they when they get older? You know how they kind of like bite and hold on, just like the Gaboon Viper and all them guys do. So she's holding on. You guys see the white part and the pinky right about yonder somewhere? That's actually the stomach with all the milk in it. So the snake's going to get a really, really nutritious meal there. Now these cobras tend to eat a little bit more frequently than the rattlesnakes do because... You know these during the day you won't you won't see you won't ever see this guy unless I like get his attention to get him to come out like I did now but at nighttime when we turn the light off man he is all over the place because this is actually a nocturnal species So guys, he, he could have quite possibly dumped his whole load of venom in the last one. That could be why this one's taking forever. Oh man. Check out, we got a little wrestling match going on. He's starting the walking process. He's like, Yo, I'm tired of waiting. Man, he has the whole butt in his mouth, guys. To me, that sounds like a whole lot of problems as that thing decides to drop a little bit of sausage out.
Come on, big dog. All right, guys. This video is getting rather long, so we're going to cut this off here. You guys know what's going to happen. You know, this is going to succumb to the venom. And he's going to walk his way up to the head and then swallow it down. But guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And as always, I will catch you on the next one.